Lewis later on this morning, you might run into a group of bicycle riders, a bunch of cyclists, at the Amvet stand on Market. They are uh, entitled to be chilling and taking a rest because they just pedaled all the way from California. We're not kidding you. It's the ride against homelessness, and the goal is to get veterans of wars off the streets, to, to end the, the homelessness there. We're talking to Joe Leal. He's yes. the spokesperson for everybody here. Every single one of these gentlemen here today, vets or son of vets, right, or son of vets, thank you all for your service, first thank of you. all. Joe, why are you guys doing this, riding across from California to St. Louis? Well, uh, we know that it's going to take more than government to end homelessness, and it's, uh, it's an insult to my service, to these gentlemen's service, and the military service members that we've lost in, in combat, that the word homeless veteran are even together. Why are there so many homeless people who, who are veterans? Why, why are there so many? A lot of them have to do with PTSD issues, uh, both from Vietnam. A lot of them, when they came back home, the VA was different than it is now. Um, Combat does very interesting things to a person. Right now, currently, the Iraq, Afghanistan veterans are quickly becoming homeless faster than the Vietnam vet because we're looking at five, six deployments. Female veterans are becoming homeless at higher rates than the male. So we decided to get together and say enough complaining. We are the solution. We go out and we get our homeless vets off the streets. And I know a lot of Americans very upset about that, of all people veterans who served this country, people who went overseas, made ultimate sacrifices, obviously shouldn't be in this position. What's going wrong here? Well, the important thing to know is awareness is one thing, but solutions is another. And that's what we bring to the table is the solutions. We want, uh, for the people that, you know, when they do the Pledge of Allegiance or they sing the National Anthem, mm -hmm. they need to understand at the end of the National Anthem is and the home of the brave. But yet we have a lot of homeless veterans. And we meet them everywhere. We find them on our journey here. We found one to two every day. Uh, it's sad, but there are solutions, and we're frustrating even more that we're calling on to service organizations, and we're telling them, guys, join in on the fight, get out there, find them, and let's connect them to resources. When you think of vet hunters, think of us this way. We are the e-harmony of homeless vets. <laughs> we, we connect them I to existing that. resources that are currently available. What good are resources if the homeless veterans don't know about? Good point. So, now, what are you hoping to accomplish here in St. Louis today? Well, the interesting part, uh, we came to St. Louis because the AMBETS National is having a convention. We have, we're, we have a documentary crew with us. We mm -hmm. filmed our journey. There they are. If you want to pan over there, Tommy, mm -hmm. a documentary crew uh, capturing every bit of yes, this. Yes, they are Hope Boat Films, and they donated their time to come out and film our journey and all the wonderful people that we met and how we were able to change lives. We just learned 10 minutes ago that the AMVET said, you know what, we just, we, you have no opportunity to speak. Uh, we're not going to be able to present our film, which is unfortunate. I yeah. know that they may be very busy, but yesterday was a different story. We did the stand down. We were told, hey, thank you for coming. But as of, like I said, 10 minutes ago, I received a text message saying, sorry, guys, we can't help you. Well, we are proud to give you guys a voice today, and thank, thank you, you very much. And look at Tommy, I want you to zoom in on this. These guys are really sacrificing. They had a crash, yes, we, and they have well, boo-boos <laughs> to show for it. So they're working hard for you to get veterans off the streets, to end homelessness uh, for veterans, and that is the point. And if you want to learn more about it, you can go to vethunters.org. And I understand with the, um, with the documentary, actor John Voight's going to narrate it, right? That's a big deal. We're working very closely with them. And also, anybody that wants to join and, and see our journey from mm -hmm. day one, go on uh, the Vet Hunters Project on Facebook. Please like it. You can see everything that we do, all the wonderful solutions. Feel free to comment. Right here we have Dave Adams, he's a singer, he wrote a song called Coming Home for, for the Vietnam vets that never got a coming home. And if you go on iTunes and you purchase it, 100% of it goes to the Vet Hunters Project. And of course with the tragedy over the weekend in Afghanistan with the chopper going down, I'm telling you, I mean, if this doesn't tell the story of what these veterans sacrifice, I don't know what does. We will have all the links that you need to see on our website. And on our